Hey everyone, Peter Charcalis with The Shaming Shop as well as Ariane and Evan, how are you? I hope everyone is doing well. So uh, you may have seen uh, uh, posts about um, a new brand that we'll be introducing uh, called Barbieri La Familia. La Familia. And um, it was the brainchild of my daughter actually. Uh, she wants to be more um, eco-friendly. Um, and incorporate the vegan soap into this brand. So, uh, as you know, we have VR1, very, very good uh, vegan soap. Um, I wanted to really push myself and create the best that I can do as far as vegan. And hopefully, um, some of you will think that it's the best vegan base that you've ever used or that's in the industry. So, that's up to you to decide how, how good it is. Um, I think it's fabulous. We've had uh, guys in the VIP group testers that have uh, used it. They've actually said, many have said that it's um, actually better than uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Kaizen 2E and uh, Ultima. So um, I don't know if it's better than Ultima. I think it's uh, slicker than Ultima. Um, the density, I've gotten really close. I mean, uh, it's as, as good as any anything out there, regardless of uh, it being a towel base or, or a vegan base. Uh, incredibly uh, dense, um, thirsty, thirsty just like uh, uh, Ultima and K2E. Slicker than Ultima, post shave maybe a notch below Ultima. So, uh, but you guys decide. Now you may say, oh, th this is just, um, I'm hyping another base. Um, I'm gonna be uh, giving away um, samples for free. So, um, so it it's entirely up to you how you like it um, without having to buy it. So um, to, to, to make this fair, the only way to do this, because it's a limited amount, I mean, I, I did a, a, a micro batch, but because I'm doing samples out of it, um, I thought we would only yield like 150, but it's gonna be a bit more than that. Um, I haven't counted yet, but I think it's gonna be like 250, something like that. So um, the samples will be roughly this size, a good size sample. Um, they're scented. So um, you're gonna actually have a sneak peek of what I've created from scratch um, replicating this. <laughs> so, um, the first time I've ever, ever seen this or heard of this and ever drank it was in, in my, my most recent trip in Italy. Stuff is amazing. Um, <laughs> it's really, really, really good. And, um, I, I was, so we were talking, I was talking with Paolo, um, Samurai Shaver and, and, uh, um, uh, some other guys and, uh, we were talking about it and they were telling me what, you know, what the notes are of this because it's published. So we we're checking it out. Francesco actually sent me the, the notes um, or the ingredients for this. And I, I have all the oils. So I, I created it. And um, everyone here thinks it's pretty spot on. Stronger than this. I mean, this isn't a perfume, you drink this. But um, it's, it's damn good. And um, I'm very proud of it. And uh, we'll, we'll see. So when we go into production, it'll be uh, uh, served in, in glass uh, jars. Um, the bottles will be the Ultima bottles. And um, we'll, we'll start with this. So um, now, in order to get it, uh, Join, either you have to be a VIP member, which many of you are, we have like a thousand members. Um, or we have the um, Ariana and Evans Social Club on Facebook. So if you're not a member there, uh, pl please join, uh, become a member, and um, you'll have access to these free samples. Um, you'd have to buy something at the store and then we'll just include it. So. Uh, anyway, let's let's show you what what this looks like, and um, and you know, you can see for yourself. So, uh, 
I guess the best way to do this is I'm just gonna going to, I'm just gonna apply like this. Oh, cap. Um, super slick. Residual slickness is crazy. Density, I, I hope I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm gonna overdo this or what. Um, incredibly dense. Incredible slickness. Post shave is off the charts good. Absolutely, absolutely can compare with any top tier towel. Th that's how good this is. Uh, my goal was to create the best vegan base ever made. Whether I've achieved that or not, I don't know. Um, but it's damn good if you're gonna compare this to some of the best towel soaps that I've had. And I've, I've used not a ton, because tallow has always been my favorite. Um, I've always favored tallow over vegan. But when I started, the vegan soaps really weren't that weren't that great. Um, now they've become much 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 better. So um, let's let's show you what this looks like. So the scent on this. So I went to the the website of this company, and they actually tell you oranges, orange blossom. Uh, licorice, anise seed. Um, what else was in here? So I added um, bitter orange and uh, clementine. I added orange blossom. I added some anise. It's not, it's not overpowering the anise. For the um, boozy note, so Amaro is, I guess, considered to be not a brandy, but kind of in that, falls somewhat in that category. So, which would be similar to a, a, a cognac, somewhat. So I had my cognac note. I had a little bit of a whiskey lactone to just really bring out that booziness. I, ordered, I, um, I added a drop of uh, wormwood, which really set it off nicely. So it, it has a booziness to it. Um, oh, I, I, there's bergamot in here. So there's something else when smelling this bottle. It's not listed as an ingredient, but I can smell almost like a melon, a melon type note. And um, it's not listed, but I added something called melanol, which is an aroma chemical. Perfumers use this to create a melon type note. So I added a hint of that as well. You can see that the lather is uh, super, super, super dense on this. We can have more water. Ah, nine minutes in already, Jesus. So I'm not gonna shave just for the sake of time. But just, I wanted to show you this lather. Um, we will start including these samples with orders from last night. But join the social club, the Ariane Nevin Social Club, if you haven't. Very, very dense lather. When I tell you it's slick, it's slicker than slick. It's super, super slick. slick. Um, as I said, it's it's slicker than Ultima. Um, density, maybe just a notch below Ultima. Ultima is just incredibly dense. Um, 
but this is slicker. Post shave on this is exceptional. Um, again, maybe, maybe a notch below, but honestly, even with the previous, so uh, this is VR 2.3. VR 2.2, um, I sent out samples for the guys in the VIP group. Also the social club, I think they had some uh, samples as well. Uh, many of the guys thought the VR 2.2 was actually better than Ultima. So this, what I did with this, with the 0.3, is I added um, a little bit more uh, Sharia butter, which is very high in steric. So I wanted to increase the density a bit without sacrificing post or, or slickness. So I increased the shoya butter, I increased the mango butter, um, also high in steric. Sometimes when you add a high steric butters, um, maybe you lose some of the slickness or some of the post shave. Um, so what I did to compensate for that is I upped the super fat slightly. Um, which did not degrade the lather whatsoever. So, there you have it. Um, these will start going out. Uh, the, lather, the lather is fabulous. Again, slickness, off the charts good. Lather, easy to lather, really, really nice lather. Post shave is exceptional. Um, and I would love your, you know, love your feedback. So uh, there you go. Um, we'll probably unveil this officially, officially, at the meetup that we're gonna have at our showroom here in Connecticut. That'll be, I think it was November 18th. I pushed it back a bit because Pastoris has a, a meetup uh, end of, towards the end of October, I think. So um, yeah, so. Am I hyping this? Well, you know, we're a business. Of course we want to spread the news. But I'm not hyping this for the money to, to make money off this right now. Hopefully you, you guys will love it so much that you want to buy a full jar. The jars will be in glass. Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the splash bottles will be five ounces in the Ultima style uh, um, bottles. But uh, this is not for sale now. This is We're just giving this away. All right, guys. Take care. All right, bye-bye.